Thank you. A lot of Kansas City fans and Dolphin fans want to see what happens with the Ravens. That battle for the first seed. And here is the ball in the hands of the Bills. It's Epinesa who has it. Wow, what a huge play for Buffalo. Look at that. What a play by him. Tipped it. Come out with two tight ends, but knocks back. There's the pass to Cook in traffic. Up the middle he goes, and he wiggles down to about the 40. Tackle down by Edwards. Pick up 13. Here's the 37. They got to him. And Mahomes is dropped by Ed Oliver and Greg Russo. There's the pass. Caught inside the 40. That is Dawson Knox. Back in October, we're glad to have him back. Here's the first to 10. Now, here's what we're talking about, Tony. He's going to fake it. He's going to pick up a good eight yards with that. Since week nine, is second in the NFL in receptions for tight ends. He's come on. To Diggs. Diggs collides with Sneed. Helmet comes off for Bolton, who's back. Second and eight. Down the middle, they go wide open. This will be a touchdown. Touchdown for James Cook. Xavier Gibson did week one against the Bills on a punt return in overtime to close it out. Cook got a second and ten. And a run with Cook and a big opening. A nice piece of running for about 12. Second and ten. Open is Cook. Passed the pass last week against Philly. Could have gone for a touchdown. And this time he's able to hold on and make a big play out of it. Going to fake it. Alec looking for options. Side arms it. And was it caught? It was. Kincaid allows them not to just have to say throw it and risk everything. And that's the one area the Chiefs have concern on defense. Second and goal. They go empty. Design play and spinning, driving, turning those legs into the end zone for a touchdown. Oh, they had him about three yards out. And Josh Allen just took a whole wave of Chiefs with him into the end zone for the score. It's all out pressure. You do not run the quarterback draw into a cover zero look. But look at the push. I think they're turning into the class over there. There's about three, four teams there. Standing out on the NFC side. Nice play here defensively. Second and nine. Rushing four. Pass. Drilled. One yard. Picking the mic ID here. Changing the old line. And it's helped a ton. Little play action. Now he flings it. Fourth catch for Cook. Trying to get around Cochran. Does a good job. Fights it for extra yardage for a pound. At 500? Here's a first down. Picked up by Sherfield. Simple here. In the pocket. Back to Cook. Slips out of first tackle. He's up to about the 44. And he makes that a manageable third and about four. Now a little shovel pass. And Dawson Knox has the first down. His second catch of the game. That's Gilliam in motion. Down the middle, they've got the completion to Knox. Depends on these end of halves, obviously end of game situations. There's Cook going low to get past the first wave, and he's got a big gain. Another 10 plus yard carry. That goes for a lot. Easy, it's loud, it's crazy, it's second and seven, handed off, you know, and Josh Allen doesn't have to be a hero then. Here's Cook. Once again, a big lane for him. Running behind the likes of Mitch Morris, and he's got a first down at the 33. Exactly what I just said. Second and four. Quick toss. They've got the first down. It's Shakir as they keep making a two-score game. Pass from 31. Delivers it. In two in between. Second and ten. And there's Rice. Rice with a wiggle. Balls called the ground. Looks like maybe Tara Johnson has it. He had a key interception here last year. None bigger on the season than this one, Jim. The nope, Bills have the recovery. Inside 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. And again, it's Taron Johnson with the recovery.
Shane confirmed this is a catch. Yeah, this one feels a little easier than the one before, Jim. This <laughs> one's definitely possessed. Let him use his legs. Spy on the quarterback. He's going to try and extend. And it was Vaughn Miller who got close to him in the ball. That might be a fumble. It's scooped up by Taron Johnson. And he's able to get away from Sky Moore before Tooney. Otherwise, you've ruined the ability. That's incomplete. He was trying to stop. Well, 27 yards with Townsend on the hold. And this game is tied with 11 and a half to go. Again, they're coming after him. Josh from the sideline, lobs it. Was he inbounds? Oh, he dropped it. Then Murray tries to recover it. It goes out of bounds, which will be Buffalo football. I got to see that. I've never High seen this. Water. Here's the third and 17. Time to look around at last. Another flag is thrown. It's going to be another holding call, I believe, as he completes it to Murray. Holding number 79 offense. 8-0 when the Chiefs give up 20 or fewer. The Bills 6-0, but they've lost all the other ones over 21. Here's a third down play, and he was hit when he threw something it. With this possession. Has to come on this pass play, and there it is. It is caught at the 40-yard line. Clears it out. Going empty, and there are the legs. They called his number. And they got him. They drop him back at the 31. It's Karlaftis. But there's a penalty in the back end. This could be a first down for Buffalo if it's a hole. Number 35, defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic. First down. And we're going to go to the two-minute warning. Into the two-minute warning. And the Bills are trying to take the lead on the Tyler Bass field goal from 39 yards. Kick for the lead, and the kick is good. And Tony, that was a shorter kick than it could have been had it not been for Josh Allen. Josh Allen saved about 15 yards there, and I don't think that goes in. He didn't strike that perfectly there, but it goes in. He knows it, and that's when you know you're good. Your misses still go in. Here's your playoff picture with Miami tomorrow hosting Tennessee. And Tony, we're going to see the Dolphins next week trying to get that one seed in this three-way battle for the one between the Ravens, the Dolphins, and the Chiefs. Have you ever seen it like this? Uh, this is about as close as I know, it is. And then you've got, on the back side of it, what Buffalo is trying to get in the mix or stay in the mix with all those teams that could be at seven and six. If the Bills win today, they already got another one for those last couple of wild card spots. What a final stretch drive this is going to be. Kick, but call for the fair catch and Patrick Mahomes. I don't think anybody who watches the NFL would you had to choose one quarterback to be in this position inside two minutes to go to go win the game. This is the guy you would want. There's no question. There was Brady, and that's turned into Mahomes now. And you talk about hey, your kid or some young player, you want to do something late in the game, go be Mahomes out there. Right. It's his time. He just changed. He saw someone's coming. Moves the mic over. They're going to block it up. Here they come on first down. Pass. It was caught. A good catch it is. Second and three. Pass. Caught. On the other side of the 50 by Rice. Unbelievable throw. This ball. He was covered. It was great coverage by Johnson. Who knows if he actually had best interference, but the ball was just right where it had to be. Back shoulder. DB wasn't looking at you. It went for 19. They're going to bring the front blitz again, and that ball bounces into Rice. Still catch him. Second and 10. They came after him on the last one. I don't think they'll sit back consistently. Here they come again. 
There's a flag down at the line of scrimmage as the pass is to an open Travis Kelsey, who flings it back over to Tony. My goodness, this is going for a touchdown. This is a, this is not a designed play. Kelsey's always looks around as if he's a quarterback, and he does this. And I can't believe it. I think it's coming back. Number 19, offense lined up in the river zone. Wow. Five-yard penalty. Tony was lined up Got to be kidding in me. the neutral zone. So Travis Kelsey, who went to Cincinnati at a Cleveland Heights High School in Ohio, an old quarterback, threw a perfect spiral for a, what looked like an improbable touchdown. That it just can't happen. These receivers can't get out of the way of hurting the team too many times at the end of the game. Gene, what do you see? Well, he's clearly in the neutral zone. You know, it's not a play that you want to split hairs with, but when he is that clearly in the neutral zone, you have to call that play. He's lined up offside, folks. Yes. yes. So, that was some kind of excitement for a flash there, but it comes back. I mean, that was one of the greatest plays in a huge game. <laughs> it doesn't count because the guy just stood in the wrong spot at the snap. These young receivers, oh, the frustration. Second and 15. And now, Mahomes with Miller in the area. He flings it at the last second, but was he down already? Now they have an opportunity. Boy, they are bringing the blitz, aren't they, right now? Yeah, and then the, the rush lanes, though. They did this to Jalen Hurts. They're not letting the quarterbacks who want to escape and get out and move. They're not allowing that. They've done it all game. Wonderful job by Buffalo. Third and 15. It's the last guy you want to go against. The best in the world on third and long. Pass deflected at the line and incomplete. Ed Oliver got a paw on it. And now you got fourth down with the game on the line. Two timeouts, you got to go for it. Ed Oliver, who's having an incredible season, doing everything for this team. Run game, pass game, and now comes up with his biggest play keeping their playoff chances still alive. If you lay back, you're allowing Mahomes to use his legs and move around and buy time for the receivers to get down the field. One defensive stop from getting a final win. Now a timeout called by Buffalo. They were not pressuring there, but they got a look at what their formation was on offense, and he saw that they're going to chip and help with extra this play can decide it. They're not showing pressure right now, so they're gonna have Mahomes can buy time if he wants. Mahomes steps all the way back to the 33. Down the middle of the field, he throws it, no one's there, and there's no flag on the field. And the Bills are going to keep their playoff hopes alive. After one of the most difficult weeks that Sean McDermott has been a part of, he comes out today keeps the focus on the field and the players and watch the great job on the outside by Leonard Floyd making this ball come out before Mahomes had a chance to get the last part of it down. They had pressure on him this entire series of downs at the end. And you're right, a most tumultuous week where some people thought, well, have they lost the locker room? What is going on here with Mahomes? I just said that frustration is growing for Mahomes. He can only do so much, Jim, and how many times has he won the game, but they haven't won? It's just mounted. He never does that, but it shows you he wants these guys to be better, tighter. Yep. Well, it's going to be back-to-back -back losses. We had that graphic early in the game about how he doesn't lose too straight. wants to win so bad, the competitor in him. And guess what? Whoever got to 20 was going to win this game. Based well, that's on what it took in the end. Yep. He's upset with the refs. I've never seen him like that before. He was yelling at the refs. Great respect for those two. One another. That's the third. Consecutive regular season, the Bills have come in here and won. Sean McDermott gets it done. This defense showed up in a key critical situation, but with a little help 
by a guy standing offside. Watch my homes. Well, it just became a little more likely, not definite, that he may be looking at down the road to have to play a playoff game on the road in January. For the first time ever. Yep, and now look at all the teams at seven and six. As Buffalo joins this list that is seven wide, starting with Pittsburgh. Seven for the last two at the moment. And that's the order they stand based on current tiebreakers. And the Chiefs fall two behind in the loss column to the Ravens and the Dolphins. Wow, and guess what? Buffalo winning this today, Jim? Still fighting for their playoff lives. But you never know. They could get way up there. They could be playing at home if they went out.